Okay, I'm going to go over a brief um, overview of our widgets. So I've clicked on the widgets tab here off to the side, and it brings up all these different options. And depending on how your, your account is set up and what permissions you have, you won't be able to see everything, but you can play with what you've got. So um, a couple things. So this legacy editor, do not use that. I wish it would just cross it out. Um, it's eventually being phased out. Um, it's the old system. It's not worth using. So don't even touch legacy editor. Um, editor is the major one that I use. Editor, you can do everything from text to images to links. Um, it's kind of a, a free for all. You can do everything that you wanted. Um, images are images. You can pull up you know, you can put an image in, um, a slideshow. Is a slideshow, it's a group of images and they can do different times that they'll, they'll slide through and show different times. Related documents is just a link to a document that's in the document center. Um, pages is another, it just goes to a different page. I wouldn't use it too much. Spacer is a spacer, it'll help you um, if something's too big or you just don't like the, the feng shui of it, you can put a spacer in and it'll help kind of make things a little more feng shui. Uh, tabbed is tabbed. You can do different tabs of information. Um, a carousel is similar to a sideshow. It just has a carousel instead of, it's not automatic timing. It's just you can scroll through and like click each one and go through the different images. Um, a list is a list of things. Text, um, it's just you could do a text box, it just limits you. That's why I use the editor. Uh, search function, if you want to search the function, you can share different websites. Site tools, I wouldn't worry too much about. Um, you can use tables in here. I will give you a heads up, the tables are kind of, they're hard to manipulate and they're, they don't format the best. So that's kind of uh, just a heads up on tables. And then the custom HTML, um, the main one you're gonna use this for is embedding YouTube videos or videos from other places. Um, you can also do like different graphs. Um, anything that you can embed, you'll wanna use a custom HTML. And then you have Google Translate. Um, in the modules button, and like I said, not everyone will have access to all of these, but you have the different modules. So for instance, you could put an alert in, you could say, oh, I want my calendar up here. Community voice, um, FAQs is a big one that we use, uh, frequently asked questions, graphic links, not not a big deal. Advan info advance, don't worry about it. Newsflash, you can put a newsflash up. Uh, quick links, RSS, and staff directory. Staff directory is another big one that you'll want to use. So for instance, this contact us information is a staff directory module. And the difference between content and modules is content is what you're building on this page. So when I hover over this widget here, you can see it tells a widget because it's outlined in blue. Um, so you can do that. And then the modules are modules you're actually building up here. So you could put, you have to create a calendar, for instance, to enter a calendar. You have to create a FAQ to do an FAQ. And like, we can go over more of that in a minute.